Hi, this is Tony. We all love our dogs, but sometimes they can really frustrate us with some of their behavior. Take for instance, excessive barking. Some dogs seem to bark at everything and at the wrong time. It's great if they bark at an intruder, but not your neighbor who they are surely familiar with. So what are we to do to stop our dogs from barking? Well, usually when your dog barks, there's some external stimuli that is prompting this behavior. It might be that your dog is barking at someone passing by your window. What you can do in this instance is close the curtains, which immediately removes the distraction from your dog's line of vision. If they bark at strangers when you have them outside in your yard, bring them inside away from the stimuli. Take care not to leave your dog outside in your yard alone. This makes them more likely to bark at passers-by because you are not there to act as a go-between. If you think your dog is just barking in order to get some attention, you can ignore them for as long as it takes for them to stop. Don't yell at your dog in an effort to get them to stop. That won't work. Just give them a chance to stop by you not interacting with this behavior. When they finally do stop, reward them by giving them a treat. You've got to be disciplined in your approach. Just exercise a little patience, even if they go on for an hour. Let them get it out of their system. If they stop even for a minute, give them a treat. When you place your dog in a gated room or their crate, if they bark, ignore them. When they stop, give them a treat. You want to reward positive behavior. As they begin to realize that stopping barking will be rewarded, lengthen the time it takes for them to get a treat. Start small as far as time frame is concerned and work your way up to longer periods of time before they earn a treat. And as you give them a treat, also lavish them with praise. You can have fun with this by varying the time when they get their treat. You can wait a few seconds and wait longer to change up the sequence of reward. But always be sure to praise and give them affection as they earn their rewards. Over time, your dog will gradually become accustomed to whatever it is that's causing them to bark. What you can do is start by rewarding your dog when what has been causing them to bark is a good distance away. It has to be far enough away that they won't bark when first seeing it. Feed them plenty of tasty treats. Move closer to the barking stimulus. Feed them treats. As the thing that was causing them to bark moves out of sight, stop giving them treats. You want to train your dog to see that the sighting of the distraction leads to a good outcome the rewarding of treats. Here's a scenario, barking at other dogs. Have someone you know who has a dog stand somewhere with their dog out of line of sight or at least far enough away that your dog doesn't bark. Once your acquaintance and their dog come into view, start feeding your dog treats. Once your friend and dog move out of view, stop feeding your dog treats. Do this a number of times in an effort to accustom your dog to the situation. Remember, patience is needed in order to achieve success. It may take days or even weeks to get the desired result. Ask your dog to perform an action unrelated to barking. Scenario, someone is at the door. Throw a treat on your dog's bed and tell him to go to your bed. When they comply by going to their bed, increase the stimuli by opening the door. If they get up from the bed, immediately close the door. You will repeat this exercise until your dog stays in bed. Repeat this until they stay in bed while the door is open. Take it a step further by having someone ring the doorbell. 
if they stay in bed, reward them with a treat. You want to tire your dog out during the course of the day. You want to be sure that your dog gets all the exercise they need, both physical and mental. A dog who has expended a sufficient amount of energy is less likely to bark as a result of being frustrated or bored. Keep the activity level high during the day with walks and chasing balls and other toys that your dog enjoys playing with. If you follow this advice, you'll be on your way to solving your dog's barking problem. Now what I would like for you to do is visit this website. I'll leave a link in the description below the video. You'll get a free report specific to your dog breed. You'll enter your email address and your dog's name and breed. They'll send you a free mini course with tips about taking care of your dog. And be sure and give us a like if we provided helpful information. And subscribe to our channel so you can be notified when we come out with a new video. Be sure to visit us at www.theirgreatdogsaren'tthey.com. We'd love to see you there. This has been Tony. I want to thank you for listening.